Hey guys, back again with another video. Um, this time I'm going to be tackling uh, Bane. Well, I'm going to be doing a speed paint of Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. Um, uh, these generally speed paints I do as I'm warming up. I take about an hour, hour and a half. And um, basically I try to work on, you know, placing my lines and building up speed and confidence. And when I do these speed paints, I also think about a lot of uh, you know of what I'm doing I don't just like go in there and paint let's listen to music but I do listen to music but you know I really try to focus and um, you know like analyze the picture before I start placing any lines um, so let's get into this video this one's gonna be a really quick one uh, most of my videos are about 20 minutes and you know some people tell me that it's a little too long and you know it drags on a bit so I condense this one down to eight minutes about eight minutes so um, Hopefully you guys can uh, stick around a little bit longer and all right, let's start it up. All right, generally when I go into this, since um, the reference image was, um, it was colored, you know, so I'm not gonna start this one in black and white. So what I did was just added a fill layer and just created uh, like this um, desaturated kind of blue color. And what I'm doing now is just going in there and lightly sketching the line work. Um, how I do this, generally I pick uh, any brush, it doesn't matter what kind of brush it is, but I set my uh, pen pressure uh, to my pen pressure and opacity, I'm sorry, I set my flow and opacity to pen pressure. And what this does is give me like a really like sketchy type of look and it's a really light line when you press on, the, um, on your uh, tablet. So you can just you know start sketching out general details. Um, when going into this piece, I knew I didn't really want to render out everything completely because then it wouldn't be a, really a speed paint. So um, what I'm doing is basically just you know lightly sketching out his armor. I'm not really going to focus on that. It's mainly going to focus on his face. And now I'm starting to add grit to the board, to the actual, um, to the workspace. Uh, when you add grit into the background, just adds a little bit more texture a little bit more it makes it feel a little bit more alive you know it's not just one solid color so I'm just basically going in there now and just I just you know feeling the colors around with a heavy brush with a pretty big brush and you know just generally getting the right colors for his body Since this video is uh, very much sped up, uh, just about uh, double what I had before this before this video was going to be about 20 minutes, but I decided to compress it. So um, it's going to be really hard to talk about certain things that I do, but hopefully you guys can uh, you know follow along. All right, generally when I do this stuff, I've said this before in my other videos, but um, I would just work in mid tones always mid-tones, always mid-tones. Um, for me, I just feel that it's easier and I have more control of my colors and highlights and darks. I know if you start in the middle, you can always go uh, lighter if you want to, or you can always go darker if you want to. You know, it's up to you. And what this does also is you can create your own type of focal points wherever you want. Um, the most, to create a focal point basically in an image, uh, it's basically around the point with most contrast. So since you start in a midtone, wherever you put the most contrast, from light to dark, it's going to be that focal point. So you can you really have so much control over it starting like that. All right, when I do uh, details on his face, I really try to keep my brush strokes to the structure of his face. Um, I don't just look at his face and paint and then paint on mine like I really try to see how these brush strokes can uh, insinuate not really insinuate but uh, show the structure of his face the 3d form of it you know brush strokes can really help you know the re the the viewer tell different shapes If your brush strokes are really like sketchy and you know like there's a lot of them, it kind of can flatten out the image. But if you have one long clean stroke, 
then um, you know it just feels a lot better. The the energy's there, and yeah, basically that it feels that maybe the artist you know thought about placing this brush stroke before laying it down, then just scribbling a bunch of lines, and hopefully that it makes a form. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things to think about when doing, uh, you know, either using a photo ref or doing still lifes or anything like that. Um, you know, you really want to think about the light and darks, how light, you know, reflects off the object. And everything just really goes back down to the fundamentals, um, you know, like the shapes, circles, squares, etc. You know, uh, everything, yeah, everything boils down to those basic shapes. And once you understand how to utilize those, then um, you can really play with light and shadow and really get that 3D effect. Back to the speed painting, um, something like this, I would do, I don't know, it would take me like an hour, hour and a half. But, um, you know, what I really want to do is get the structure down first. And if anything, if I want to take this piece further, most of the work is already done for me. All I have to do is really go in there and uh, add more detail, in a sense. It's just a, a smarter way of painting, in a sense. You Once you have that structure down, the main core structure, everything else comes a lot easier. It may take a may take a while longer just to you know add a lot more detail but the core of it's still there so what I'm doing is generally adding these lights highlights and going in there and detailing a bit you know after um, after you know, really thinking about placing your lines and you know, just really taking a look and taking your time. This is where uh, speed comes from and confidence. You know, you you know where certain things are in a face, and your your elbow kind of gets used to making these long, broad lines instead of these scratchy little lines. And you know, you build up confidence in the way that you you know draw, and you build up speed. I think this working smarter, working harder and smarter helps achieve a better effect than just going in there and hoping something happens, <laughs> in a sense. Alright, so I'm really trying to achieve this snowy effect in this image. So I, I started laying down a lot of like soft white brushes on a, a layer above and you know and I'm using motion blur in the direction that I want the snow to fall to achieve that. So basically this video is pretty much done. It was quick, eight minutes. Seems like I just got here and started talking with you guys. But um if you guys want I can make longer video. Um just let me know. Any comments, critiques jokes anything i am open to um if this video helped you in any way just like subscribe to my channel i have many different videos uh, i'm gonna keep producing them for you guys you know i do this for you guys as an aspiring artist myself i'm still young in my uh process but you know i like to share my my input and my perspective on everything um again also check out my blog it is uh side messiah arts dot tumblr dot com i put i uh, put a lot of things on there and you know, hopefully you guys can come back and uh, and hopefully you guys uh, like my videos too. So uh, thumbs up and see you guys next time.